ile matunda kwa shamba zaizi projection yangu na expect not less than 12 tons kwa hiyo shamba sasa 12 tons 12 tons ni hiyo ni hiyo ya off season ya yes. nilize hmm? nilize tani moja itakuwa pesa ngapi tani moja ni 1150 oh do the maths <laughs> are you producing enough to cater for the market the local market no huh. no i'm not producing enough even i i'm not just almost to zero margin the market is so huge that eh uh, other production inafanya hapa just a drop in the sea. Wae wanunuzi wanakujanga wanasungukanga hapa. Hata sometimes wakija wanakosa. Unapata mtu gari alikuja na pick up anataka matunda na ana. Mtu anarudi Nairobi na pesa. Alikuwa anawaletea pesa na rudi nayo. Wow. Eh, so eh, market iko. Eh, mzazi kama kuna wana watoto kama kuna vijana. Ni mzuri. Ukiona kijana wako amefikia ume fulani. Mm-hmm. Pia wewe mudate anza kumpatia madate majukumu start giving the money to to, to, to watoto zia sia pia kuwa responsible mm. na waanze ku, ku learn we learn through failure so trust the process one day your life is gonna change keep on believing you will be better than before so trust the process These are fixed tree as you can see these are now ready to the market these these trees this plant alone uh, I'm expecting around 12000 from this one plant and the whole farm is around 8 acres so as you can see uh, the bearing I mostly do the off season I don't do the season I do the off season because of the the prices prices of season are always high so I'm expecting a uh, baba Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Inspire Global. My name is Lynn Gugi and I'm just going to break it down for you guys. Huh? You see this tree, it's able to give you 80 kgs, meaning you are able to get uh, almost 500 pieces of this, right? So now assuming the market price right now is 150 Kenya shillings, huh? do the maths guys. 150 Kenya shillings times 80 kgs. How much can this one tree just give you? I'm standing in the land of one brilliant mind huh? who is going to be sharing his story with us. And I keep saying guys, ukikosa huh? kazi, angalia ujiulize, what is it that I can do with the things that are around me? When you hear his story, it's going to inspire you. I mean, look at this place. It's full of trees, it's full of beautiful fruits, but how he started is just by taking risk and saying, "Unajua nini? Mimi sitatafuta kazi. I will look at what I have. I will use it." Na sasa honestly, you know what they say when you water your grass, huh? it grows. Huh? So we are about to listen to his story and also know where the money is. But before I can even go deeper na yeye to one the story, I want to say thank you so much guys at Maridadia Santeni. You always drive us around. I mean, niko makueni and you don't get tired of making sure that we get to our shoots on time. And if you are looking into owning a car, why don't you just pay them a visit? Now waulize, timi ya sa Eric, what car can I get from you guys? And it's not just that. They have investment opportunities for you. They have a car wash where you can be able to take your car and also take your carpets and duvet. And they also have driving school. So why don't you check them out? guys na muniambia mna wafeel aje but in the meantime you know how we do on inspire global take your notes uh, take your notepad take your pen because we are about to write some few notes uh, and make sure that 2024 is the year we count our profits uh. so check around on any matunda i'm telling you nimekula moja ilikuwa tamu sana and i just want to break down for you the whole process that goes in in making sure one is successful in this sort of farming twende kazi basi Yes, Haron, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How is the going? Niko sawa, niko salama. Eh, Nashukuru. 2024 inakupeleka aje? Si mbaya, si mbaya. Haiwezi kuwa mbaya. <laughs> si mbaya. <laughs> Tunaenda ku make pesa sasa. Yeah. Hii ni harvest season. Yeah. How are you feeling? Niko sawa, na ngoja tu wanunusi sasa. Eh, yeah. thank you so much yes. for making time for this amazing episode. Mm-hmm. It's nice to really meet you. The wonderful work you are doing in your farm. Hizo matunda mtu anaziangalia. By the way, mkiangalia hivi tumekula kama 20. Una ni charge? Ah. 
Leo umekuwa rafiki yangu kwa kuchaji. Hizo siku zingine ni uchaji. Ah lazima ulipe. Okay. Sawa basi. Talk to my people. Tell them something about yourself. Wakuelewe. Yes, kwa majina as you heard, mimi naitwa Aaron na ndesi Mudhini. Mimi ni mtaalamu wa masuala ya ukulima. Na fanya ukulima ya mboga, kadhalika zina sukuma, spinach, nyanya na pia nafanya matunda ya pixi. Okay. Yeah. Na hii pixi mm-hmm. ndio imetuleta hapa leo. Ule mtu hizi elewa pixi ni nini? Pixi ni nini? Kwa sababu inakaa chungwa, inakaa sandara, inakaa lime imeiva. What exactly is pixi? Na mtu anajuaje mimi nanunua pixi? Uh, katika miche ya citrus mm. kuna 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 miche tofauti tofauti, kuna matunda tofauti tofauti. Kuna pixi, kuna sandara, kuna kuna ile machungwa kawaida wazi bali swatching green affairs na kuna pia mineola. So mimi mimi na specialize na pixi okay. kama commercial crop. Okay. Uh, so nini na stand out pixi ina ndio mtu ni nini poa sana na pixi? Ah uh, pixi ni bei. Bei yake inakoanga <laughs> inakoanga poa alafu pia ni ni tamu. Ni tamu kuliko za matunda zingine zote. Mhm. Uh-huh. Eh. Uh-huh. Na pia ina mbegu. Na pia ina mbegu. So uh-huh. kai ina mbegu una inapandoaje? Eh uh, kwanza tuna huwa tunapanda ndimu and then utuna graph na zion ya ya, ya, ya pixi eh zion but, but, but rootstock rootstock yenyewe ile muti ya kupanda ni ndimu okay ndimu ya kawaida tu alafu sasa tuna graph na zion ya pixi eh ndio sasa hiyo ndio to change the rootstock yote kuwa muti ya pixi sasa oh, okay eh. zion ni nini zion ni ni, 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 ni matawi ama ama ka branch ya ya, ya muti ya pixi ndio tunaweza tunaikata na tuna tuna graft tuna tuna bud what you call it budding tuna tuna bud ndio tuna change the the dia plant from lemon to pixie. Mimi kutoka utotoni nimekuwa na passion sana ya ukulima. Mimi napenda sana mambo ya ukulima, farming and so on. So eh, after high school, that's 2011, mimi niliingia ukulima ma- ya boga. Lakini nikiingia ukulima ya boga, pia nilikuwa in back of my mind nataka nilikuwa na passion ya kuwa citrus farmer. So mimi nika nikapanda nika nika boga, nikakuwa napanda ndimu pia kwa, kwa shamba yangu pamoja. Eh uh, nika nika nika, nika tulia hapa nyumbani for around 4 years after form 4 nikingoja another my other siblings wamalize jumu zaja kuwa na uwezo ya 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 fee ulikaa how long 4 years 4 years yeah, oh, from the 20, 2011 to 2015 so uliingia college 2015 15 yes okay yes after hiyo hiyo miaka yote nikiwa tu nafanya ukulima ya ya hapa na pale kwa lakini ya boga sana sana uh-huh. so after kujoin college <coughs> nikaenda kusomea mambo ya shahada ya ukulima ndio nilikuwa na hiyo passion So mimi nilikuwa nimesha decide come back my mind nataka kwenda kufanya ukulima. That's general agriculture. Bale nilikuwa nataka kufanya otikacha. Katika kwa sababu hiyo hiyo itani narrow kwa flowers na fruit na vegetable. Mm. So nilikuwa naja nifanye broad pia nilikuwa naweza naweza kuwa mtaalamu ya maybe kuku, ngombe, yote, mambo yote ya ukulima. Okay. So ndio so, so, ndio maana nikaingilia hiyo farming ya agriculture general agriculture. Mm-hmm. Nikaitimu 20 kamaliza 2019 eh, September. After kumaliza time ya Covid kuna kuna ile midi nilikuwa nimepanda tu nikiwa nikiwa college. Alafu saa eh, nikakuja nikagraftiwa. Nilikuwa nanyuziwa na napunda by then. Singine sikakauka, singine sika succeed. So mtu mmoja ile ile mtu kubwa si ile senior 2020, 2020 time ya Covid nikakuja nikaiuza ikatoka ika kilo 120. 120 kg. 120 kg. So, 1 tree. 1 na by then nilikuwa anauza na 100 sio size inojua size inauza na 150 kwa shamba okay yes wait sasa mtu akikujia kwa shamba ni 150 farm gate price you know 150 hakuna kunego eh hiyo ndio ile beko kuna kunego hakuna kunego hakuna kunego hiyo ndio ile beko okay so by then nilikuwa anauza na 100 sasa nikajiuliza kama mti mmoja nanipea 12000 na nikifanya miti 1000 ndio sasa nika eh, ndio sasa nika, nika panda ile chamba umeiona hiyo eh, chamba umeiona ni 8 acres ndio mm-hmm. sasa nikapanda hiyo shamba sasa okay. nikapanda miche miti eh, 1100 na 400 wow ndio sasa ile miti iko kwa shamba size haya yes. shamba ulitoa wapi shamba shamba nilipewa na mzai okay eh, after uh, after mzai kuona niko na passion nataka sana kulima akakuwa motivated Alafu unajua sawa wazazi walikuwa na rigid sana na vichaka unakuwa na hold wanataka kupea watoto. Hizi zamu za eh mzee ni unique. Akaona ni vyema ni anipe ndio sawa nianze ku practice ile kitu nime nimesoma. 
So haka niampea madate, nifanya hii saidi ya juu ya shamba na hii afanya hile, hile saidi ya mtu huko mm. huko chini. Mm -hmm. Na mini kamuambie mtu wako e, e, nye kuko, niteipambu yu maji kutoko huko nireto huko juu kwa shamba sha, huko juu. Mm -hmm. Ndwa mana nika, nika, nika yaka pipes, umona pipes hapo kwa, kwa shamba, nika leta maji kutoko kwa mtu, nika anza kuleta hapo hii miti yangu. Yo tu ni by the time likuwa na panda. So mini kapanda, miti yangu, nika panda elfu moja na miaine. Nikaanza kuitunza pole pole. Wazo ilikuwa na challenge. E, e, kama penye umeona kwa shamba. Nikuwa na, nikuwa na portions kadha. Nikuwa na portions kama tano. Nikuwa na panda tu miatatu, miambili, miatatu. Kulingana na hilo wazo ilikuwa na ya capital. Ndwa mana saa nikapanda. But uh, 2020 nilipanda hiyo miti mingi. Hiyo nye umeona saizi kema mtu moja na nipia kilo kama hite. Yeah. Yo nilipanda 2020. So hiyo kwa 4 years saa hiyo? Hiyo kwa 4 years. Wow. Hiyo kwa 4 years. Ok. Let's mm. talk about the capital. Mm -hmm. Sasa tumeona basi mti moja inaweza kupatia 80 to 120 mm. kgs but how much capital do i need kwa hiyo grafting hiyo na, na need kama pesa ngapi ndio mti moja isimame uh, basically uh, <coughs> ile quote yenye nakuanga nayo ile inapea wakulima sasa hivi ile mm. ina depend unataka kupandiwa ndimu kwa grafted later ama unataka kupandiwa grafted uh, ready red uh, red package yes kwa wenye uh, kwa watu wenye wa red package huwa na ofanya na 104 that's per acre na kuja 104 what 104000 oh. hiyo ni miti na kuja na kuchimbia mashimo eh. na kununua mbolea na eka na kupandia alafu na nunua dawa za so manage for the first 4 months ndio hiyo miti yote ishike then afterwards na hand over kwa kwa kama mkulima so from there unaanza kutunza okay ile package nyingine ni andimu ukitaka ku establish ndimu ni kuja ku graft later inaingia ngai 80000 mm. hiyo ni nakuja na wanaume wangu tunakuja tuna one acre hiyo ni 200 trees one acre inaingia miti 200 na kuja na hiyo miti 200 tunakuja tunachimba mashimo 200 tunaweka mbolea as long as uko na maji tunakuja tunakupandia then tunakuja na dawa Alafu na kuja na kupatia dawa na kupatia program ya nyota kuwa spray ya nyota kuwa tunza mm -hmm. Iyo yote na kupatia kama pack okay. Alafu na eh, sasa kama after 4 months Saa I hand over to you kama, kama mkulima Now from there now you will be managing Utakuwa na jinulia dawa, utakuwa na jiekea maji Haki ka, 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 kama utakuwa na consultant services zangu sasa Now we engage on other terms mm -hmm. But to establish hizo ndo package sa inafanyanga za establish Ok, so for example, mm -hmm. acha tuingie sasa practical yes, things yes, sure. mm -hmm. Mti moja ilianza kukupatia profit after how long? Eh, ukipande muti, ukitunza vizuri Kama ili yangu sawa umayona Yo yangu ili break even na 3.5 years Hey eh, Sako, eh, that was second sale. Eh. Yendo ili break even. So hizi ni profit. Ju, eh, ile, ile nafanyanga, after mm. establish, uwa naeka record. Nikona, nikona Excel ya my production. Ile input yenye naeka, na ile sales yenye nafata. Nito nikue, nifanya calculation yangu nijue, eh, the, prof, the profit margin yenye nimepata. Mm. Eh, so na kuanga na iyo, na iyo, na iyo, na iyo Excel. Ya okay. Kazi, ya. So watu wa sione ya tikumeja tu miti ya matunda, umegojea? Eh. Ah, 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 lazima ukue, ukue mkulima, lazima ukue na patience. It's all about patience. Juu, unapananga kikuwa kadogo. Kikuwa kadogo, uwa kanakula sana. Uwa kanakula pesa ya yako. Juu, uwa katoi. Lakini sasa, ya ikianza production sasa, yoi nyewe na jiran. Na jilepea mfanyikazi, na jinulea dawa, na jiletea mbolea, alafu na kulipa. Mm -hmm. Pa month. Okay. So, nimeona easy pixie zina grow sana kwa arid ama semi arid mm -hmm. areas mm -hmm. does it mean hazihitaji maji at all na kama zinahitaji zinahitaji maji kiwango kipi eh uh, citrus generally ni the uh, ni miti yenye itakagi maji mingi sana hata wengine huko wetu tuna, tuna depend na rain fed unajua mfuo huko kama ni si mingi mm. so ni miti ambayo inaweza stimili ile jua kali uh, so uh, kama yangu sasa E, nyume wana pale. Uja mi e, uwa na wateza off season. Eh. So uwa naeka maji ya 200 liters. Ikuwa mtukubwa. 200 liters per week. Oh. Na hiyo ni e, ile mezi nataka kueka, kueka maua. Na hiyo ni mezi ya kwanza bili. Sa hiyo ni mwezi wa saba. Mwezi wa nani. Mm. After hapo uwa na ngoja mfua. Shimo. Shimo tunafajanga ya 2.5. 2.5 cube. Then tunafuto kuchima shimo tunaeka mbolea ya ndo moja. Yeah. Na juo kwa interest na for start. Yes. Tuneka mbalea ya ndo moja, then we, we cover na top soil, then tunapanda mti yetu. Afterwards, after kama mwaka moja, tunakuja tunapanua iyo shimo sasa. 
ujua sasa mtu itakuwa imekua mm. ndio sasa mzizi itakuwa ime imeenea mm-hmm. so after hapo tunapanua tunakuja tuongeza mbolea tena ndo 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 kama mbili hapo kando so hizo ndo mbili sasaidia mtu sasa for the one year for the whole year itakuwa inakula itakuwa na chakula ready sasa hapo mm-hmm. so hiyo muti <coughs> ikiwa na 1.5 to 1.8 uwe inaanza kutoa tumaua eh so unapata kama mtu mmoja anaweza kupata kama matunda tano matunda kumi, depending na venye ulikuwa umemenage na dawa uh-huh. kama utaachilia matawi eh, matunda eh, maua sianguke so utakuwa unaanza kupata some patches of fruits yeah hisa ikiwa mti kubwa kama hiyo yenye nimekwambia ilikuwa na kilo 100 120 eh, kama hiyo sasa inataka dola mm. sambolea mhm eh halafu sasa maji nimekwambia ile maji inatakaikana for the start ukiwa na 20 liters kwa once in a month inakuanga ideal yeah. so lazima ni kuwe na patience number one ya kugoja for one year yes. eight months ndio yes. nione flowers, yeah, flowers yes. alafu nitaona tu matunda after how long at year two utakuwa na kwa na matunda you can now start having some small small pieces of fruits okay uh, na zitakuwa ripe after how long from from maua to this stage <coughs> yes. the six six months Okay. Uh, six months. So I can easily harvest two and a half years. Naweza anza yes. ku harvest kidogo. Yes, ku harvest kidogo, yes. Okay, but uh, mti haitakupatia atizikiwa mob sana. Ah, uh, sitakuwa mob sana. All right. But sasa ikiingia mwaka ya tatu unajua sasa the more unaendelea na kuweka mbolea, the more unaendelea na ku grow canopy in the size and so on. Mm-hmm. So mbona pia unaendelea na, na kuongezeka. Kama yenye mekuonesha pale yenye kuna 80 kg, yes. last year ilikuwa imepatia 50. Season hiyo wow. imeongeza na around 30. Okay. So next year but one I'm expecting around 100 to 120. So nikuulize mm-hmm. si nime harvest harvest ya kwanza at two and a half years. Mm-hmm. Harvest ya pili nita harvest after how long? Inaingianga yale. So ni Then ngoje mwaka mwingine moja. Eh, Ikiwa kuwa na maji eh. unaweza kuwa na mbili off season. Okay. Kama mimi nilikuwa na maji sasa huwa na depend na maji huwa nacheza na mti wenyewe. Time yenye kumekauka mwezi wa mwezi wa 7 na wa 8 naweka maji. Mm. Alafu na ngoja mwezi wa 9 na wa 10 siweki maji. So inakuja kupata ile mvua ya Novemba. Mm. Ile mvua ya Novemba eh itaweka mau wengine. So ndakuja kupata eh, kama saa hizi Feb, March niko na matunda. Tukiingia July, August niko na matunda. Okay. Yes. So, so ni venye mtu amejipanga. Yes, eh, ni venye umejipanga. Okay. So uh-huh. nimeona unaipatia fertilizer. Fertilizer ni hii organic ni, manua tu manua, manua tu. ngombe eh, hakuna kuweka fertilizer eh ni manua tu ni, ya ngombe, eh, ya ngombe. Hakuna, hakuna fertilizer hakuna fertilizer hiki tu haina fertilizer haina fertilizer hii hakuna... ni mbolea tu okay mm. na insects mm. una, si insects hizi vitu za kukula mm. matunda kama venye mm. tulifanya ya apples mm. tuliona birds zinakula sana apples hizi zinakuliwa na nini na mna preventage mm hizi mm. birds huko kwetu si mingi sana yeah. lakini ile time uko na uko peke yako tu ndio uko na matunda na, na maybe birds hazina chakula ndio sinaweza opt kukula mm. lakini not not sio common mm. sio common mm. yeah, it's not common so mm. challenges ni less yeah, challenges is hii matunda sasa ni ile midudu ya kawaida ile midudu ya kawaida tu kama halfits or white flies scales mm-hmm. uh, mealybugs kitu kama hizo. Okay. Na hizo ndo hizo ndo threat kwa pixi. So hizo mna prevent aje? Hizo kuna madawa za mm. kuprevent. Kuna madawa ya mealybugs, kuna madawa ya scales, kuna madawa ya hii baridi. So kwa sababu na baridi kama bwizi sababu inakuwa na baridi. Yes. So zimeto spray fungicides za kuzuia baridi. So kuna hizo madawa pia tunakuanga nazo. Okay. Hiyo 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 inaandika kwa program. Na kuandikia madawa zenye ni mzuri at this time. Zingine ni mzuri at this time. So ina depend na, na ile magonjwa preference ya magonjwa. Unajua saa kama saizi kuna jua kali. Mm. So kuna red spider mites ni mingi, mm-hmm. drips pia ni mingi. Mm-hmm. So unapata kuna hizo dawa sasa zinatajika za kuzuia hiyo hiyo kamdudu kazi. Kasi ni eh, eh kazi shika matunda yako. Njoka kishika matunda but from kuwa na hii hii rangi eh uwe naweka chocolate. Inakuwa sasa inakaa oh. inakaa waru. Ndio sasa hiyo hauwezi eh, kwa baya hata, sasa. Hata nunua. Eh atakuja kununua na atakwambia kile ndo kununua na 40. Eh Hakiza hiyo kumwambia ni 150. Yeah. Kozi hata kana shine shine. Yeah, kana shine, yes. Eh, kana yeah. shine shine. Yeah. So hii ni traditional, hakuna GMO, hakuna anything like this is all natural. Hiyo ni hii ni traditional yote. Yes. You, you to be purely to feed na mbolea. Hakuna kuweka fertilizer. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. Haya let me ask you. Mm. Let's go back to your story. Yes. Ulisema 
kuna time ulika sana home yes. kabla uingie college mm -hmm. then umeingia college umeingia uni umesoma umerudi tena mm -hmm. kwa agriculture na unaka we ni mtu patient sana by the way tukishuti hapa nyuma ya gari tumejaribu kutafuta location huko around hakuna we've done like almost how many hours Three hour, almost three hours, hours. hours. tukitafuta place ya location mm. na nimeona we ni mtu patient sana mm. where does your patients come from na imekusaidia aje kimaisha eh uh, what i can say mm. ni unajua ni eh, mimi nimelewa shago so ile maisha ngumu imenigonga so na ile yangu na ile yangu kuna challenges pia ya maisha kwa challenge ya pesa kama eh, kama hiyo nimesema nilikaa hapa for years ningoja my siblings wamalize high school ndio pia nilipata kujoin. Niliona mzazi ana struggle. So mimi sipenda ange kuona mtu ana struggle ana ana pas struggle juu ana disappress sana juu yangu. No, nataka anga kwanza I'm a human. Huwa naelewa mashida ziko. Na hii 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 eh, hi dunia mashida ziko. But as long as your passion and the dreams are focused hata mm. time ikisonga aje you lost be on time. Yes. So mimi mimi patient na kuanga nayo tu. Mhm. Hadi matuna van after nilipanda nilikuwa college. Nilikuwa na pana zingine sinakauka na kuja na nafanya gapi. Eh after umeona shamba yangu hapa, hii ni nilikupana nilikuwa college. Kuna miti zimeachana. Kuna ile mti mzee, kuna ile dogo, kuna nyingine pia nasema nenda na kugap. So kuna hiyo hiyo kufumilia. Eh. So kila saa tunavumilia. Eh kama mkulima. Agriculture na semanga, agriculture is a is a profession of op najua in the future hii kitu itanilipa so ni kitu ambayo na investia sasa hizi ndio future eh, in days to come ikuwe sasa inaanza nilipa okay yeah. mm. na hiyo time unagojea ikulipe mm. kuna toa wapi hiyo nguvu na una survive aje kimaisha <laughs> oh, pia oh kimaisha kimaisha sasa huwa na survive na, na boga masukuma hapa sasa hapa kwa boma sukuma na kuanga nayo year in year out juu eh, eh nilikuwa na wafanyikazi wawili mm. na walipanga wa mwezi na pesa hiyo inatoka wapi sukuma. Ju sukuma ni ina keep on running. Kila siku kuna sukuma inaenda hapa kama 1000-2000 kila siku for daily basis. So hiyo ndio ina run familia. Inapata na eh, inalipa wafanyikazi eh, eh juu saa pixels ngojia 6 months ndio unafanya unaambia mfanyikazi eh, utangoja after 6 months ndio nitaku ndio nitakulipa. Mm. So lazima utafute mbinu zingine za kupenya. Mm -hmm. So mimi kupenya yangu na eh, ina kuanga suru kufanya sukuma, spinach, nyanya eh hivyo tu okay mm. na sasa yenye umejaza shamba hizi pigs umejaza kabisa kasa hii na wana uko karibu ku harvest lori mm. zitajaa hapa mm. market ni guaranteed for you ama mm. ama sasa ingine kuna challenge the funny thing uh, lin the funny thing with pixi market yenyewe ni automatic wafanye eh, wanunuzi wanakujanga wanasungukanga hapa hata sometimes tunakuja unakosa unapata mtu gari alikuja na pickup anataka matunda na ana mtu anarudi Nairobi na pesa alikuwa anawaletea pesa anarudi nayo wow uh, so uh, market iko they always call me kama sasa hizi mm. niko na around three buyers wenye nataka kuja kwa shamba yako ile tu nilimwachimisha niwaambia na ngoja kwanza si vive ndio at least ni niuze at bulk mm. saka nikuuza dogo dogo mimi akikuja naweza kuchukua kama tani mbili ama tani tatu eh uh aha -huh. mm. so pesa ni poa Pesa 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 ni tabu pesa ni tabu Saidu sahi sasa hiyo ndio matunda mm. ni matunda yako yes. ume harvest hiyo matunda mm. familia una balance aje eh <laughs> 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 eh hii <laughs> sasa <laughs> matunda eh, matunda ni ya my long time investment yes. hii ni kitu ambayo naiona kumbali sana napanda miti nikikuwa na projection kama for example nakwambia sisi ile matunda kwa shamba za hizi projection yangu na expect not less than 12 tons kwa hiyo shamba sasa 12 tons 12 tons ni hiyo ni hiyo ya off season ya yes. nilize hmm? nilize tan moja itakuwa pesa ngapi tan moja ni 1150 na 50 eh oh do the maths wa <laughs> 12 tons e harvest e uh, harvest eh uh -huh. uh, hii mwezi wa ya tatu yes. ya ine. Mm. kwa nisha mingine nyo meona ya off season eh hiyo sasa ni ya mfua ina renfed hiyo yeah. sasa soko inakuanga tricky juu kila mtu wote ako soko ako, ako na matunda ako mm. na matunda so unapata bei inashuka inakuja hite 70 ama 100 kaenda sana 100 uh, so mimi si kangi sana ya, ya mfua na kangi mm. of season juu hapo 
Ugwangi na competition, competition sana kuanga less. Uh -huh. uh, so lazima kama kulima uchanuke kidogo. Ukwe, ukwe. Ujue Mis, pesa uh, ipo kwa. Misa sifanyi ile inaitwa agriculture, ile kacha. Unajua kwa hiyo hiyo kacha raw training tulikuwa tunafunza kwa sababu. Hiyo culture. Eh, okay, Misa hizi okay. nafanya ile inaitwa agribusiness, ile kilimo ya pesa. Agribusiness, kilimo ya kilimo biashara. Uh -huh. Ndio nafanya. Kilimo biashara. Mm. Ni kile yangu iko kwa kacha raw way of farming. Kama hapa kwangu sasa hizi misipa nangi ya timaindi. Bana. Hapana ngi hizi vitu hizi eh, Water crops, agricultural crops. So you can pay a pesa. And you can go on a circulation. Yeah, pesa. In a run, shamba. In a zulia dawa. In a spray. In it, evil. Okay, mm. that's nicer. But uh, what we engi sana? Wo we ulienda yuni mm. na umerudi uku home mm. kwa shamba ya babako mm. na unaendelea. Mm. How kuwa na ile challenge ya acha ni endi Nairobi ni tafte kazi uko. How kupata iyo Iyo like katamaka acha niende nifike hii Nairobi. Mimi nitoka nilitoka university nilikuwa na negative medalist na, na na kazi. Sijai fikiria kuwa kwa jiriwa. Mimi nilikuwa le, lecturer mmoja nilikuwa university eh. alituambia alikoliwa na na, na uh, alumina student mmoja alikuwa anasomea hapo 2012. Baadaye tulikuwa na grade 2019. Mm. Akatuambia anamwambia mtavutie nini? Amtavutie kazi. So lecturer mmoja akatuambia hii course ni tumewa train si agriculture. It's a skill. It's a, it's a skill. Mm. It's a heart. Go and practice. Go and be innovative. Endo ufanya kitu, enye itakupea pe. Uzele na akili ya medaliti ya kwa ajiriwa. Kenya hakuna kazi. Hizo makazi mingi hakuna. So, mi nikatoka na hiyo akili. University. Kukuja hapo kwa ground, nikambia mzae. Mzae kinaambia na hindi tao, nikatafute kazi. Kambia pana. Nataka kujia kwa isha amba nilimu. Juhu nishia pata knowledge sasa. Eh, I will be now be doing things systematically. Na nikuwa na akili. So, mi mzae kinaambia haya. Ni shamba ni hiyo. Mm. So mimi after after college nikuja nikapanda, nilipanda watermelons. Hiyo that was my first crop. Mm -hmm. Kutoka university niko fresh, ni diori, mm. niko nikuja ground sasa. Kupanda melon nilikuwa eh, alikuwa amepanda miembe mingi hapo chini. So nikamwambia miembe nitaikata. Niuze kuni, ni miembe ina pesa. Anaambia hapana, uweze kata miembe yangu. Namwambia, acha kwanza nipande melon ndio uone. So eh ile pesa aliuza mingi sana kwa hiyo miembe, aliuza 1 it 180,000. Mimi nikapanda melon, nilipanda melon kimzamza tu hapo niko nikapanda 320,000. Okay. So hapo ndo tena nikapata capital kwanza aya. Kwa, kwa miezi miezi tatu unaweza pata elfu. Na mimi na ngoja anga miembe mwaka tu mwaka ndio nipate hiyo pesa. Nikamwambia eh hey, hizi 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 short, short crops ndio siko na pesa kuliko hii ya kungoja mwaka mm. kwa mwaka kingine. Juza miembe ina flower mm. July unaoza Jan kama saa hizi ndio maembe ziko. Mm. Utakoje tena mpaka July flower tena uzi ile Jan nyingine. Kazi mob. Eh hey, like melon Ni three months, unavest. Another three months, unavest. So kwa mwako unavest three, four times. So ni kampate yyo, yyo sense. Uh, na, I, I, I love that nikafanya, nikafanya practically. Mm. Na kayona. Mm -hmm. Yaka nambia, hey, sikuwa najua kama yyo neza fanya. So after hapo, sana nambia, hey, sasa, hata ni kupatia maditi. Shamba yote, mifanyi fanyo unataka. Sasa kani batia li, uh, the, the whole land. So wow. ndo mea, ndo, ndo mea ono yyo miti ni mepanda, yyo side. Na kwa ni side, ingini kui side. Yyo sija panda. Uh -huh. Juni face by face. Takanga ku, kuuma kitu kubwa agencyezi meza. Kama. Ne, ni pole pole. Mm. Ne, pole pole. Unaona hiyo kukupea shamba. Mm -hmm. Ukiwa na nguvu ili kusaidia sana. Kwa sabu. I think saingine pia kuna wazazi wanasema. Acha ende atafute kazi. Pia ya jipange kimu wanaume. Unajua. Mm -hmm. Lakini unapata tu mzazi ya kuna shamba kubwa hapo. Ange kugawia pia ufanye kitu. Wuna unapabako kukupatia shamba hiyo saa ili kusaidia. Eh, mzazi kunipatia shamba. Iyo ndio nipatia na milestone. Iyo tu kukubali. Iyo, iyo, iyo kuna mzazi na kupatia kitu rosafi. Ana kuambia uifanyia kazi. Hata ya manyewa na kubariki yoki iyo. So, mi after kunipatia shamba na kunibarikia shamba ni ifanyia kazi. Iyo enyewe tu. Iyo hat enyewe. Iyo ndio nipatia grace. Ya saa. Iyo shamba kupa, kupanda. Kufa. Yono na venye simekua vizuri. Sinakuza vizuri. Mm. Onanga ni baraka za mzae. Kwa roo yake, alilipatia akiwa ako open. Mm -hmm. Na ako tu willing kunipea. So kuna ile mzazi maybe anaweza kupatia kiwa maybe anaishika. Ni mtu anakupea kitu lakini kama anaishika, ni kama yes. ni eh, kuna hiyo kuna na kwa wazazi wengi wanakuanga hivyo. Mm. Lakini eh, mzazi kama kuna wana watoto kama kuna na vijana ni mzuri. Ukiona kijana wako amefikia ume fulani, mm. pia we mudate, anza kumpatia madate, majukumu. Mm. Usikae kama unataka kuwa king pin, kama king always. Mm. Start giving the money to, 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 to our daughters. Yes, yeah, but if you are responsible, mm. na wanze ku, ku learn. We learn through failures. Me, 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 I'm going to Na panda i na koje na na fail na panda i na fail. Like I said, me learn from all that uh, all that experience. Me learn. 
no mean pro i can say yeah. you i have learned through the hard way okay uh, hizo mashida yeah. uh, what's the greatest lesson you learn kwa hii agri business <laughs> and ngikwambia lin eh hey. uh, kumekuwa na setback sana eh, after saa kupanda hii hii miti nilikuja nikapanda ni, ni, uh, uh, first kupanda nilikuwa na challenge ya wadudu na sasa hiyo by the third time sikuwa na sikuwa na, na pesa kwa mfuko mm-hmm. so hapo ndo nilipata na akili kwani nene nitafuta kazi ama nifanye nini nikaingia kampuni hapa ya saguza madawa nikapata contract ya 6 months nikaingia ili nipate capital ya kununua miti zangu miti zangu ndao lakini kakuwa na challenge juu hiyo kuuza na makambuni kuzia kambuni moja ilikuwa challenge mm. juu na, na, na kuja mkulima anakuja anataka dawa mm-hmm. mimi najua madawa zenyewe alafu kambuni imenambia usisi dawa zetu usisi dawa nyingine so nikakuwa na hiyo challenge juu najua kuna dawa zingine za kambuni zingine ziko expensive zingine ziko low so nikakuwa na hiyo challenge ya ku, ku, kuzia makambuni dawa mm-hmm ndio mimi nilikuwa nile hutu ya as long as wewe ni farmer umeleza shida yako acha nikutibu hiyo shida yenu uko nayo si ile 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 target imepewa na kampuni so hata mmoja wangu rafiki alikuwa ananichukia anani harass wewe karibu ni friend umekuwa ajiri mbona unauzia unaweza dawa za kampuni zingine ambia hapana mimi nataka kusaidia mkulima so hiyo pia na kuanga hiyo two leaks lakini sasa mimi kwa roho yangu ile tu ndakaanga tu mkulima asaidike na apate faida you farming farming inaweza ku frustrate Unaweza lima na no, upata no hasara nyingine hata ujeiona. Maybe ya uh, uh, kuwa misguided in the mm, process. It's mm. a process. Eh? Farming is a process. Mm-hmm. Lazima you, you get it right from the start. And then you keep on learning. Now you fail. You don't give up. Yeah. Yes, you, you, you give another shot. You give another shot. Yes. Unaona hiyo ndio shida inasumbua wakulima. Leo una watch kitu unaona huyu mtu yes amepanda pixi zinampea yeah. million mm. saa hii mm. alafu wewe unaamua kuingia hapo na viatu zote. Kuingia hapo <laughs> na viatu zote. Una advice ngi watu waje? Uh, ah mimi na kwambia uh, ile kitu naambianga mtu kwanza nikienda kwa mkulima na kuuliza kwanza uko na passion. Uko na uko, in, inside you do you feel you love uh, you love family? Mm juu mimi naonanga ukulima is something like uh, therapeutic mimi nikiwa hapa nikiingia kwa shamba yangu i feel comfortable sio na ngile pesa iko hapo na feeling tu hata kama nilikuwa na mashida yes. sawa mashida na sisioni tena juu shamba yenyewe ni kama iko therapeutic mm. juu i love the farm I, i i sacrifice a lot i sacrifice a lot of my money a lot of energy a lot of time to give it to the farm so that in the wrong run edu uh, lukonile project ni ni me target in the wrong run sai ikue shamba nyewe naanza ni ni pay back lakini kama hauna hiyo hiyo patience usiingie usiingie kwa ukulima yes na ukulima si atakuwa na pesa mingi nataka kusipambwa hapo ati na ikuje tena hapana it's a process it's a process passion kwanza yeah passion kwanza you love farming ukwe tu iko ndani yako tu okay hauoni kama the market itakuwa flooded na hizi pics some ones hata kuziuza kilo moja 20 bob hapana si rahisi si rahisi kwa nini magonjwa yenye napatanga pics sasa hizi nimetembea kwa wakulima nimetembea Kenya yote nimetembea Kenya almost everywhere sasa mimi na kuanga pics consultant na kuanga tu mtu wa kutembea quantifies wa kulima. Mm-hmm. So nimeenda mpaka Homabay, nimeenda Edoret, nimeenda Rigoa Market, nimeenda Marigo. Hii wiki naenda Kitale. Wow. Nimeenda mpaka Embu, Beru. Nimetembelea wa kulima. Wa kulima wako na challenge sana za magonjwa. Hawajui magonjwa ni ugonjwa gani na hii nataka dawa gani. So unapata kwa hiyo challenge. Na pia huku hata huku, hata huku kwetu. Hata huku kwetu miti zinakauka. Jumuti imepata na magonjwa yenye mkulima aelewi ni nini. Alafu sasa unaenda kwa stockist watu wa, wa dawa. Mtu anaguzia hadi zile dawa anataka zitoke kwa shelves. Ah zile wanataka kuuza yes, haraka. Yes, yes, zile anataka zitoke kwa shelves. Ah. So kama una hiyo knowledge ya know how. Ta hii ni dawa gani na inatibu nini? Hii ni dawa gani na inatibu nini? Ukulima kuna challenge. Alafu sasa hii kamuti nayo ni prone to magonjwa. Ndio ni ni, ni hybrid. Ni hybrid. Hiyo anything hybrid, anything hybrid ni kwanga tu na na challenges ah. some management maintenance and so on so waka kuna hiyo challenge mm-hmm. okay. kama mimi mwenyewe kana 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 ni challenge kana kana, kana nikalia <laughs> kana nikalianga lakini <laughs> lakini sana nimeka master nime master what what kenye kanataka ndio kanipe kwa nataka mm. hii ndio nipe okay mm. so let me ask you benefits za epic ni kikula kwa maisha yangu ni gani hata <laughs> 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 maisha yangu 
Eh, Pix unajua na kuanga tamu. Eh. Niko na vitamin B, ni mzuri pia kwa 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 wale watu wa diabetic eh. Uh -huh. yeah, citrus eh. Yes. Kwa, so ni mzuri kwa kwa watu wa kuna ma, magonjwa. Uh -huh. Na pia hii inakuanga tamu. Hii Pix imeingizwa soko na watoto. Kama mtoto wako ulikuwa unamnulia machungwa, na mpelekea ka Pix siku moja. Hebu mtoto wako ate kula tena machungwa. Uh -huh. Atakuwa anataka tu true story Pix. Yeah, kaka Pix. Uh -huh. So hii kitu imeingizwa soko na watoto. Unajua venye watoto wazazi tunapenda watoto wetu. Yes. So anytime ukiwa soko tu unafikiria kunulea mtoto wako nini? Kapixi. Kapixi. Uh -huh. eh, so hii hii soko yake itaisha. Eh. eh. Ako kajina kalitoka wapi? Kapixi. Hapo hapo dadi gi lakini unajua ni pixi. Cha muhimu ni pixi. Ni pixi. Okay. So benefits sana sana iko na hiyo vitamin, vitamin B. Vitamin B. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also by the way me I think for me mm -hmm. spending kitu iko na mbegu. Yes. Like so for me nikiwa natuka kitu naweza to anisha hivi na nikiwa kama kote kwa mdomo na sio siwezi that that's interesting but value addition so mm. apart from okay i can buy it for con, ni consume mm. ni make maybe some juice here and there what else can i do nayo uh, currently mm. uh, eh ije kwa value added yes. tuna uzanga tu kwa raw what we going to nwanga kwa raw but no back in my mind i was i'm not thinking about how i can do the value addition okay. because sa pesa pesa iko kwa value addition sasa when they fanye kwa juice iko hata we can no export mm. tu sasa kuna challenge pia ku export kwa ikuwa 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 fruit mm -hmm. lakini sasa ikuwa value added kwa juice pia kwa na pesa ina catch kwa na pesa na pia itakuwa to shop level yako na tutakuwa tumeongeza mm. for example unaweza unaweza imagine lean hapa nitembelewa na muindi akitaka ni kuwa na supplier kila wiki tan 10 throughout the year alikuwa anakuja na contract to sign nikakuwa challenged nikajiuliza am i able to produce that my farm iko able to produce 20 tons hiyo ni wiki mbili kwa mwaka nitampatia hiyo lakini hiyo ingine hizo 50 other weeks nitatoa wapi 10 tons na alikuwa anakuja kununua na 3 dollar kwa kilo unimagine 3 dollar sasa kama kilo ni kama Wow. Uh, for 50 almost 500 per kilo per kilo yes so he was willing to buy 500 bob per kilo but how can meet your demand you meet your demand ah you say eh if farming a contract farming na kwanga funny sana you have to you have to deliver what you have agreed na quality na quality pia okay eh, so mimi nikaona hiyo sitaweza so, but now i'm working now to concentrate with more farmers hapa around yes. yes and then who are willing so that uh, your contract yake tukuje sasa tuketi chini tumwambie sasa we cannot we cannot produce this uh -huh. not to andikane alafu ikuwa ni wale wa kulima serious i have challenge of getting those serious farmers yes ndio maana sana nafanya exchange services huku at least ni, ni tap those who are very serious those who are willing to to to, to partner with me so that now we can now be able to produce that and then to to, to tuchukue your market market okay. iko mingi yeah mm. given the community here does a lot of mango farming mm. how is it is it easy to change their mind uh, to pixi farming kuna watu wana embrace eh current watu wameanza ku embrace lakini za watu wanaongopa the cost of production cost ya management yes wanaongopa mm. so wengi wako tu kwa maembe juu kuna hiyo kuna plant there's that uh, government plant yenye kwa hapa hiyo ni ya maembe but the other day the governor was here alikuwa hapo kwa shamba yangu oh the governor yeah the governor okay i'm like the junior was in the farm oh so we are we are partnering with him to see how now the the pigs farmers eh uh, venye to you just say bekwa kama cash crop ya kuja kuja mapuni na kambani how now we can uh, push this kama venye wakulima wa coffee tea venye wanakuanga tu Yes, na station yao. Yes. Cuz for me the first thing I looked around was where is the local station hapa? Cuz na ziona ziko. But sioni mkiwa na hata local station ya kupeleka for yes. grading. Yes. Unajoy I think it's easier mkulima akitoa kitu hapa anajua atapeleka pale apewe pesa yake then you inasaidi. Yes. Inasaidia but I hope that something that's something the government is considering. Yes. Now uh, that's something the Department of Agriculture and the governor they are now working on that mm. yeah. okay kudos i hope mm. they do that yes, because yes. for me i think yani ni meola tu kwako but ona huku kwote kuko empty hii yote ni kichaka mm. untapped mm -hmm. so i was just thinking imagine if we had pixi farm nini pixi is everywhere then mko na a central station yes. ya kuzipeleka but thank you for pioneering that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm pushing that i'm i'm pushing that Don't i'm give very up. energetic I have just to push the governor the government as well so mm.
that is something I'm working on no, day in, day out. Yeah. That's working. Mm -hmm. But you yourself now, what value add have you given your community? Uh, first, uh, most of them, they want to call me, I give the exchange services. Come up around the two, I give for free, imagine. But the Kitambela was Shambia and Aguil and Galea, Magojas and Zikona, Kandega, Dawa, and Kandega program. A kiss and Nikitoka inch in the Kedaja do want to charge. Yes. I can come up within me because I want to, to we get the, the, the very good thing. The squapper, Nimina produce the Muzuri, or the rest of my farms, I'm a, my neighbor, apa, and I produce Kitu. Mm. It makes sense. So, who and I appear with those and face for free. Upper Caribou. Good. So, the, but now they are gauging me on that. Okay. And then the cash was up and I couldn't have a cash was sana. What when you want to spray a dawa? Nivijana, Nivijana, or go talk to Nivijana, go talk up a caribou, up a caribou, on a soccer copper. So most of them on a good young cast with Uku, Rizaka Kuna, Kuna Kazimudozi, Nitaka Mudozi, the Kitsina Kit. The Villa Kuna Kazi, now the Kaziko, maybe your quick camp, or lay out a good idea to Mudoz. Now, Nanini, like any twelve times in Enda Kusa Pesan. So, jobs daily apa kwangu. Kazi apa ina kwanga tu. Kasho, kujamba kujamba mama na kuna wenye wana eka maji, kuna wenye wakopala wana wana eka basin se kweka mbolea. Alafu sambo le na kujia next week. So kuna ingine na kujia biya wa bebe wa mama. Uwe na wa mama wa kujia wa bebe. Yes. Yes. Kaunga tu ya kukabu mazao. That's amazing. Eh, lakini saa, eh, bika ni kona two permanent. Mm -hmm. Boys who are work here. Yeah. They, they do the spraying, kulemia shamba, usafi, and so on. Okay. Mm. That's nice. Huh? At mm. least you are doing you, you are doing amazing. Mm. I love to see that. Wacha kusema yeah. hakuna. Job Sisi, <laughs> lakini kitu, I think for me kitu ni melan, mm -hmm. hii kitu kabla yanze kukupea profit. Lazimu utakuwa patient. Yeah, you have to. Yes. Yeah, good option. And you I think uh, ya kusi watu wengi wanaweza vumilia mm -hmm. mbili tatu ya ku, mm. ku, ku yes. palilia yeah, tu kitu. Ndiyo, upate. Ndiyo, upate mm -hmm. mm. And you love it? I love that. I love it. I love fixes. I love I love just funding. Because uh, pro, uh, generally I'm, I'm, I'm planning to do it, to, to, to scale up. Nataka kukia kwa pali wa addition. Yes. Taka kukua na, na mtamba yangu. Ya produce juice, that's packaging, start exporting. Mm. And then I scale up. I'm, I'm planning. I'm planning to do ten thousand trees. Good. Congratulations. So, uh, Size so of how? Kona one thousand and one thousand four hundred trees. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I'm, I'm planning to scale up. Yeah. And since I land, the dream is just in my mind. But since I land, I have to buy land. I have to maybe drill a hole or I have to plant. Then the other one, the ill production in Ataka, you can now move to buy another one. You can supply na 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 enough. Okay. Si ukupana eh, elf moja mia tano na tabu la zaka kukuwa na mutambo. Iyo, mm. uh, auta benenji. Ita, ita, ita run wana wana nikome. So, life to, life to, ni, ni scale up. We are planning to scale up. Okay. Now you will. You mm. ukona iyo vision. Now yes. may hold strong yes, yes. for long. So, yeah. I don't think anything can go wrong. But, mm. are you producing enough to cater for the market, the local market? No. Huh. No, I'm not producing enough. Even a height. I'm not just almost to zero. Imagine the market is so huge that uh, our day production in Afanya Apa just a drop in the sea. So, need water to work combined when you're in Afanya Pixie farming. The demand is high, you guys are not. The demand is it. so high that you cannot meet. For example, so now guys, my chunga, my chunga kawida, my chunga me pando kela maali Kenya. Nakino kenda malikiti town, na paranga my chunga me toka Tanzania. Kwani toka Tanzania? Basically, as a country, we are producing 2% of citrus. Do, to meet the demand in Nico, we have to produce 12%. So 10% is nowhere to be found. So, Adam to keep on the by the time to, to, uh, to reach your 10%, come and say the citrus water pixie, sandara, machungwa, and 2% of the, the citrus needed mm. in the country. Wow, that's a fact. Yes. That's true. Yes. So, yeah. So, by your 10% to, 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 to meet 12 Yes, as uh, government not to allow us to start to export it. No, now we cannot. So, market we are going to buy imported citrus. We are going to buy oranges. We are going to South Africa. We are going to Egypt. Like in here to pick si to go and now we go at time if we enjoy talk and enjoy end. The government cannot allow Had to be, because the barrel do do meet demand local local demand. Yeah, yeah, and then. Do you meet? So there is enough for everyone. Yes. 
market iko mingi sana hata wewe unapaswa na kupanda mimi mimi nataka kuja na lori ni revenue zero hata wewe unapaswa na kupanda no it's a good idea no that, that this uh, it's a beautiful idea but mm. you spoke about also the medicine is mm. it expensive eh pesticides pesticides eh, zake eh, eh. Na expensive na expensive mm. Mm. So, na kudanganya mm. na expensive so like how much it depend ni, 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 ni tofauti yeah. kuna fungicides kuna insecticides kuna foliar feeds then kuna stickers mm. eh, so ni kikali. tofauti mbato tofauti tu okay mm. so, kama sizi yangu hii eh. production yangu production cost ya sizi imeingia kwa hiyo shamba ni almost half a million that is nikulimia madawa mbolea kitu kama hizo around half a million mm-hmm. lakini project yangu i'm expecting around 3 million oh so utoe output eh so my profit margin is about 2.5 so naona okay. the margin is it will always be expanding yes eh yeah. lakini yeah. sasa nayo eh, kama una initial capital ya ya management hapa mwanzo mwanzo hiyo eh, sasa ikiwa dogo ikiwa mgonjwa sasa production ni lazima ishuke mm. lazima ishuke mm. so lazima pia uitunze isikuwe mgonjwa at isikuwe kagonjwa at the at the tender hedge ndio sasa production nayo ikienda Yes. E, 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 okay. Na nimekaona si kamti kubwa sana but kazito kamebeba ka branch kamebeba kama 20 hivi. Mnafanyanga nini ndio kasikue heavy kaangushe zote ama e, siwezi anguka? Sinaweza. Hata hapo ndiko na mbili sisi zimevunjika. Juu ya weight. Unajua zenye nenda kuvuta maji inaendelea kuongeza weight na kama imezaa excess. Zimevunjika. So huwa anafanya staking na ikelea vijiti miti ya kushikilia hizi mm. isivunjike branch. Eh. Kwa kana za kana za au kama kana za katika. <laughs> kama kana za katika. Eh, ugi tuza mzuri. Kana za kanajisahau. Eh, kanajisahau. Si umetoa napo. Eh, ni tuzungu. Eh, kana za kanajisahau. No, ni tuzungu. Eh, so in your agri business. I'm happy. How does it make you feel kuona more youths wameamua kurudi mashambani sasa kufanya e not just agriculture but agri business. Uh, what i can tell the youth mm. uh, si si wengi sana mm. bado hiyo mentality ya job ya what call a jobs be, a lot of youth wako nayo kwa akili but what i can advise kama you have, if you have you have land and uh, you you have the the knowledge on the know how mm. as long as you share the college ama nini na kwanga na you have to be innovative and yes. creative yes you can you can do farming mm. Yeza uh, most of the youths wana wanachukulia farming mm. as a old fashion kama ya retirees ya old people they don't embrace farming when you are like mm. those who like me those who are now have got in, into it ai uh, kona pesa kilimo kona pesa pesa mingi think dog ah pesa iko eh weze kwa kulima ni sisi sisi ajirwa ata ah sisi ajirwa ato ni pay mshahara 1000 million sisi you are expecting more in the farm by the next election i will be expecting more from the farm you eh uh, anajilipa as long as inafanya kulima and give to all the other expenses you anajilipa kwa mazi eh, kwa mwezi naona kwa hiyo nilikuwa nimepata nimepata mshara ya pesa ngapi so by 2026 hapa nitakuwa kama mbunge <laughs> yes nitakuwa kama mbunge sarali sarali yenye wanapata hapo mbunge nitakuwa eh. nayo usinisahau njoo ron tumetoka mbali mbali wapi ndo mbali wapi lini wewe siko hiyo ma Kula kaduda. Utaniamka. Tumetoka mbali. Tumeonana tu juzi tu hapa. Motivation nimekupatia hapa. Eh usinisahau bana. Unajua mkikuwa wabunge huku muanze kuendesha huku maprado. Unaanza kunisahau sahau hapa. Mimi si wasiasa lakini mimi ni wangu mimi ni mkulima. So hata nikikupea 1 million sasa huwezi kuwa employed. Kama siasi hizo kubali. For real? Si yo ndile pesa nitapata hapa 2027 hapa. Mkifanya election next next time hapa. Wewe. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. Yes. By 2027. Ifa menyo meona hapa. Si ni miti 1400. Yes. Kila muti ipii ni pia kilo 100. Na niuze na 100. Hiyo ni pesa ngapi? That is 14 million. Yes. Ni tu tu miscellaneous hivi my production ikuwe tu ikuwe ikuwe 2 million. Iko na tu of clean money ikijilipa si ni kila mwezi milioni i see you been one of the biggest exporters of pigs in the country so uogopi watu wakipanda at competition nataka wapande mingi imagine i want more i'm even uh, as long as i'm exchange services huko i don't want to complain oh umepandia kila mtu huko pigs is a flood market mean najua the gap which is there you cannot meet 
the challenge is also which is which are there. When Guinea Mona, and it's a day I go market, and Capata Mulema may chop on a scale, she may give me coke. I'm a part of two thousand trees. This is at a big give up, me no amicon. So you are my talk. I'm going to get a twat and gave in a pupa, now who you are talking. So the circle will, all, will not be completed at any given moment. You will not be the, uh, the demands, the mm. supplies, it's quite too chilly. And you can be a production pair to go 2%. Yeah. So by the time to raise, you go 10%. Takua, takua. Si, tuna, 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 kuna, 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 kuna kazi ya kufanya. Kuna kazi. Kuna kazi ya kufanya. Yeah, but mm. before I wind up, mm. apart from patience, mm. give me three other things zanyo zime kusaidia sana ki maisha na ki biyashara. Uh, ili ngini menisaidia ni, mwambia ni ukulima tu ya kawede ya boga, ili ngini menisaidia ni exchange services. Niko na page, yangu mm. ya consultancy, najita fix consultant, mm -hmm. arondisia. Yo ndo page yangu, yo okay. imenepia mileage, mm. ju kwa wiki neza kuwa siku moja tu wapa kwa shamba. The other days I'm off, niko tu kwa DKM, the face wa kulima. So yo pia inanipatia, inanipatia handing mm. ya kurande the family na kurande the company. Mm -hmm. Niko na pia nimefungua, nimefungua kambuni, ni aro ni agronomy services. Ok, that's nice. I'm working on to, uh, to get na website. Mm. I'm also thinking about doing a YouTube I train Good. you, I train people. Good. I take some small shops yes. and then I upload so mm. that you can now learn. Uh, how to plant, how to how to how to water, how to manure, mm. how to spray, how to prune. All those post post minor but crucial aspects. Things, yeah. Because as a uh, people can can learn, can see as I do small shops. So because as a company when you are done you can just log into the channel, mm. see. In the land. Okay. Mm. Farm visits. What do you want to do? Farm visits. Yeah, farm visits. You have to book yeah. once you, uh, while you are coming to the farm. Okay. Uh, you want to leave picture. Uh. One thousand per head. Mm -hmm. ku soma. I love that dad ali kupati ya shamba. Mm. But pia uko na siblings, right? So, muna saibu penye wanaona bro, ana make do relationship yenyu iko aje. Na pia hao wa meingililia agriculture ama how does that work, especially kwa wale watu wana watch sahi, na maybe mtu wana, ana consider kupatia mtoto wake shamba na wakona watoto wengine? Uh, uh, let me say, our upbringing mm. as a family just unique. The bonding which is here with, between me, mom, because my dad is late. Yes, condolences. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the bond which is here between me and my siblings, just amazing. They... They even push me <coughs> to on this thing. Sometimes I, I, I become like I'm reluctant, so mm. they keep on pushing me. Like you know, my, my young brother, who is now doing the agri business, mm -hmm. doing diploma in agri business in Kakamega, mm. uh, he, de he developed the, uh, a passion in farming mm. just through me. Wow. Because I'm just doing the production. I told him now, I have not to do the marketing part of us. Mm -hmm. So that now, we can, if we produce, mm -hmm. you're in the market. So that we kill the, the middleman. Good. Kama soko in Atembeu kona 250. Yeah, kwa soko. It's a man 250. Good. The supply, it's a man 250. Yes. Hakuna brokers, middlemen, uvijia kutumia na 130. We bridge that gap. The other, the other, the other system, mungine pia naya nafanya mambo ya nutrition, mambo ya catering and, and the stuff. She's very pro in internet and uh, Facebook. Yes. She even gives me more of my clients, so more, more buyers than I get from my, my, my handle. Mm -hmm. So, pia ya kwa hapo. I have the kunaole mgini, uyo mgini na napanya mamba ya logistics and the accounting. Wow. Uyo nde natumianga all the sales. Senye nimefanya, do na nifanyi yo Excel. Yeah, profit and, profit and uh, loss, yes. whatever. So, yeah, na nifanyi yo. So, they are all supportive in this. They want want to make it a, a, com, a, a family company, a, a family thing. Mm -hmm. So that now we, we we strive on it. Good. And then my mom, yes. she's very supportive. Amazing, amazing woman. Yeah, she's just very supportive. Mm. She can sacrifice everything just to see the farm. In and life. So when you make clean, they are many million pesos. Wow. So she supports me in everything. Other things when you see, you know, I mean, I I I I I I so mm. she can take she takes her, uh, them around the farm and, and yeah. she has everything yes in the, in the, in a, in a fingertip. and then the workers in your mm. so they, uh, they have a manager
kwa ni menenjia vitu. Okay. Yes, ni mzazi. Yeah. So eh, pia ana ni menenjia bure. I guess I'm planning now to to to, to put her in the payroll kwa pia naye. Good. <laughs> Good. And then I and given her she then she become motivated. Yes. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love that so mtakuwa pixie family. <laughs> yes, pixie family. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Kila mtu na party yake. Eh. Kuna wa accounting, logistics, kuna wa kula logistics, kuna, kuna wa marketing. marketing. Yes. Good. Na tuko na caterer. Yeah, kuna caterer. Yeah. Alafu sana niko na ni my wife. My wife is doing HR. Ah, good. Eh, hey, kazi yake ni kwa kwa jeti na kufuta. Eh, hey, mkoshua. <laughs> Come on perform. <laughs> she will advise on that aspect. Yes. So, wewe kazi yako kama ufanyi anaambia huyu, huyu aondoke. So, mm. naye nampati hiyo mandate. Okay. So yeah. wife is proud of you. Sana. Eh. Sana. Ah yeah, good. Akwa yeah, wa ni la ni muhimu. Ona mm. venye una smile. Ona na give brush. Ah, si ni kuvetu brush. Yeah, yeah, but we uh, uh, have to support. You. Okay. I Love that. Yeah. Yeah, mm. just super. There. So it's important you have a supportive family kwa hii journey ya agribusiness. Ah, very good. You cannot do it alone. Eh, sasa ungekuwa na drug back, nikifanya hivi the against it, yeah, ungepata shambi kwa ikiwa venye. But they are supportive. Okay. Mm. Value chains gani umeweka around? Eh, mimi nikwambia mimi ni mkulima wa kila kitu. Yes. So value chains niko nazo hapa. Nimeka pixi ni ni kona otikacha si unaona otikacha yes ni kona fish nataka kuanzia shi ni kona fish pot ni meka bad side oh, wow. nataka kuweka samaki pia okay and my wife has interest and passion in, in poultry farming yes. so nataka kitoka shule ni mu establish na kingdom yake ya ya kuku beautiful umeona ni kona dairy kuna yeah. ngombe ya maziwa hapa lakini hiyo ni domestic mm. nataka nisikue mbili tu kwa domestic ni mm-hmm. eh, ni cost ya kununua maziwa mm-hmm. then the other value chain ni kona nayo ni Hizo yeah, ndo mimi niko nazo na iko na nyuki. Nimeona kuna bees. Eh, 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 bees mnafanya nyuki. Eh. Nyuki nayo ni men eh mainly ni incorporate to my farm in the idea people in nation. Unajua oh. sasa kuna matunda ma, maua yakikua sasa kwa nyuki sikua. Eh hiyo pe pollination sasa ndio matunda niko nayo mimi. Eh. Excellent. Yes. Ah, I'm happy for you. Mm. You've done good. Mm. You've done good seedlings unauza. Uh, seedlings uh, seedlings uh, currently azina mm. lakini kuna kikundi tuko nayo mm. tuko na seedlings okay hapo uh, ndio na source lakini sana mm. nimeona ndio brand yangu imeingia soko sana so i have not to have my own yes. nursery hapa mm. i'm not planning to do that this much mm-hmm. after my first sales hiyo pics ni umeona na establish nursery hapa mm. so people will be coming now to take seedlings from my, from my farm okay from my plants okay. yes sir uh, pics pia nayo uh, lazima ukuwe na mtu yenye nazanga vizuri the mother plant should be good mothering ability mm. do na graft ya mtu ndio si mm. mtu agenda kupanda nayo ile output yenye ilikuwa kuja in the mother plant now you would transplant to would translate to hiyo miti yake so so ni kondio challenge ni pato challenge farmers wengine wanaambia nilinunua nikapanda na sijaiza siji nikamuliza ulinua wapi seedlings ilikuwa imetoka kwa mti gani ajui nikamwambia that is very crucial information not the mother plant ya ya ndi mwenyewe ndi mwenyewe kuna dimza zinatanga dimu kubwa tatu ina Alafu napanda hiyo. Ukienda kwa graft na kapikse nyaka zangi. Mm. Unaona sawa? Mm, Asiletani. Yeah, so yeah. production ile ilikuwa ndogo. Mm. Lakini kama ni, ni ndimu yenye nazanga sana, alafu chukue pikse yenye nazaka sana, no it's not going to combine. Hey. Una expect me. Eh. Hey. Yes, una expect. Ikwe, 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 blossom. Ikwe, 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 venye tunakaa. Yes. Mtu anasikia kukaa tu hapo ushikashike, you know, lakini chani yache mimi acha niende nirudi Nairobi, mm. but kuna swali tulikuja tukijiuliza. Mm. Huku mjawaika fence. <laughs> <laughs> Najua karibu ni karibu niangalie venye tumeanguka hivi, eh. ni ni ni, ni, ni chukue, niendange tu nikikula. Mm. Kuna theft ama hakuna hakuna watu how do you make sure ziko secure watu waibi ama naweza kuja hapo na ngunia zangu kaa kumi usiku niweke na niende wizi eh. wizi si sana iko lakini mm. few cases mm-hmm. lakini sawa ukishikwa nayo ukiwa na umeiba ume pics nayo ama matunda huko unajapangwa kama kitu kingine eh. so wengi huwa naongopa okay na pia unajua watu wengi wanaongopa wakamba si juu tunaotoka nini <laughs> Umnaogopa <laughs> wangu anini? Sijui. Ni kweli tu. Ati nikiiba pixi siwezi eh, toka huko. Kwa mkamba au eh. ni mkamba si nini? Eh. Kuna hiyo kuna hiyo myth. Eh. Mkamba wewe si ibia mkamba. Lakini eh. sasa huko kwetu. Yes, hapa hapa roni kila mtu amepanda. Eh. 
So hiyo ni fancy enough. Yes. Ndio kama ukitoka huko hiyo mm. hata imemale umetembea sana na mafuta fix tu kila mahali. Mm-hmm. So na wengi eh, watu wengi wamekula wakashiba lakini saa eh, na, na tie huko watoto wamesoma. Yeah. Eh, Pardon wa, 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 eh, wamesoma sana. Yes. So unapata saa eh, ya discipline iko juu. Mm. Na wazi si wengi maybe saa watu outsiders wenye watakuja. Mm-hmm. Lakini kama uko kwa udhina hapa How is it? Yeah, I'm very much satisfied. Okay. So na ngio kesi sasa. That, that's okay, nice. Sir. Mm. Wewe uze sana. Mm. Venye nilisema usitusahau. Mm. Mm. Okay. 2026 ah. Ama 2027. 2027 hapo. Eh hapo mm. ndio climax hapo. ya kila kitu. Umeigoja? Hapo hapo ndio climax. Umeigoja? Ah sana. Sana. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to remind my people where they can find you na pia wa encourage. Unajua? Kwa mimi ni kwa mitandao naitwa Aaron. Yes. This year Demushini that's my Facebook page. Yeah. Niko na niko na page bill Facebook. Niko nyingine inaitwa Fix Consultant mm-hmm. Aaron Tisha Mudhini. And then kwa YouTube inaitwa uh, Aaron Agronomy Services. Nimefungua a channel. Good. So na jita Aaron Agronomy Services. Yes. Sijaingia TikTok. Ni si fan wa kwa foril. Sijaingia TikTok but uh, my manager who is working on the on mambo ya logistics and mm. marketing and so on. Is planning to open okay i'm um, yet to do that mm. uh, what i can tell the the young the young generations uh, farming is real farming is as money so come on you have land ama you have passion in farming get to it but be patient kuja pole pole usikuje na usingia na pupa kuja pole pole but don't na usingia usingia kama usingia kama kitambo Kacharo, kacharo practice of, of big things be innovative be creative and then uh, think being a good business be uh, and the box. Yes. think of the box just be innovative usikae too rigid na the old method of doing farming keep on learning get to internet google search see documentaries what people, people are doing and then practice that mm. yeah and good. then you'll be successful you'll be successful shukran mm. Thank you for spending the whole day with us Uku. We had a rough time uh, finding a location lakini mm. we are happy this episode happened. I wish you all the best. Thank you. You've inspired us, you know. Na mimi nataka by the way your 2027 ifike and I do your story one more time to inspire watu. Yeah, exactly. Ndio waone penye tumetoka saa hii na penye tunaelekea tunaenda, si ndio? Tumalize show. Yeah. yeah, man, thank you. Thank you very much. Nashukuru sana yes. and thank you for the patience as well. You know so mm. here is to Pixie family yeah 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 Pixie family Harilin juice you know mm, all right mm. umekubali okay ah uh, right. yeah hiyo itaenda hivyo itaenda hivyo <laughs> thank you guys yeah. it's been an amazing episode and as always i want to know what your take home is if you want to connect uh, with our guest today his handles are on your screen right now and also they'll be pinned on the comment section asante sana team maridadi for always coming through lo imebaki tu niweke tu igari by the way is add imebaki tu tafuta shadow and this was the only place we could find nyuma ya hii gari so thank you team maridadi for always riding with us you take us to amazing places outside nairobi inside nairobi we wouldn't do this without you sir eric and your team and i keep saying if you want to import a car go to them if you want to invest go to them if you want to take your carpet by the way cleaniwe vizuri carpets duve na pia gari yoshwe tembeni hapo sparkling and also if you want to take your kid ama you want to take yourself also for driving school they have a driving school hapo maridadi a driving school to the team who makes this work possible i know leon do imekuwa ile siku asanteni sana and also our incredible producer wahisho edwin thank you so much muga joshua scholar thank you for always pulling up and to you guys always remember our theme for inspire global no matter what you do there's no shame in hard work kujeni tu pole pole kia venye guest amesema Haruna amesema kujeni tu pole pole usi kama tinini kama ni pixi umeona imekufurahisha go do more intensive research about it always remember don't let people tell you oh market itakuwa flooded oh sijui usifanye hii itakuwa ka kweli ama itakuwa ka nini 
2% of the market, guys, 2% of the market. So if you are able to do it, why not? But be patient at it. I'm going to see you guys uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. In the meantime, kama umewatch show kama liza na how to subscribe. Aibu, aibu aki uye, aibu. Shame, subscribe. It's free. It will help us a lot. I'm going to see you guys 10 a.m. tomorrow. Bye-bye. Trust the process One day your life is gonna change Keep on believing You will be better than before So trust the process